costumes here is where you can see if a character can move. Some characters cannot move, they're just static, they just are there. You just, you know, if you want a character that moves, make sure that they have various costumes related to them. And you can always copy them and make them do like an extra move, for example. Let's see, so if I click on the cat, it should make me, oh, that's a one cat in top of the cat. So no, we didn't want to do that. Oh, and now I deleted the whole cat. But that's an opportunity to come on down over here. This is where we select our characters. And sometimes it will tell you if uh, what these characters can move or not. Um, and it's not doing it. But you see right there how it says costumes too? It means that if I were to pick this boy for, it will be able to do a couple of moves. So let's see what this guy does. See how it has five moves? I think we might want this one because it will make movement a lot better. I like the bat. Bat has a couple of moves and it just does it really well. It flies really well. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and pick one. Um, I like the cat just because, you know, it's scratch. So I'm just going to kick the cat. I deleted it and now I got it back again. Next to the sprite selection or character selection as I like to call it, you have the paint new sprite brush. And so let's click on that and we come now to uh, something that is just like a so paint this editor. here this rectangle here is our paint editor you see how I can't draw over or beyond the uh, the gray area here say so look I can't go past this this is our paint editor and this is where you're limited to if you're at 100 this is where you are right now so anyway let's undo these I was just playing around um, now um, let's paint it white so you can see it. So I'm going to click this paint, the paintbrush and I'm going to paint it white like that. And then we are going to select the rectangle. And if you remember from our maze, just pick one color, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick red. You can pick black or you can pick blue or whatever is your choice there. There's also a color picker and this selects color type. And I believe this is the, um, see how it is like this? You can select your colors differently this way or um, so you can get some fun pastel colors so you don't have to stick to what they give you I like the little green there it looks nice uh, let's just pick a color I tend to go to the more warmer colors the red colors let's just pick uh, something around here all right so let's pick the rectangle let's make sure that the, at the bottom here it's a full rectangle this is the empty, just the line, the outline of a rectangle, but this is the full one. And we're going to draw a, um, let's call it a wall around it like that. Now, um, this is very easy for me to do. And if you've never done this before, this may take you about 30 minutes to do so. If you want to pause it right now, or if you're going to continue listening to what I'm doing, I just feel free to do that. But I understand that this is not easy for some people. Um, I've been doing this for a while I've been teaching this for three years so I do this in minutes all I want to do is create a wall where um, my character won't be able to get out of bounds this is like a wall for the maze or the sprite people call it sprite so or the character whatever you want to call it anyway you see how it says here if you click on the shift key and you hold it you get a perfect circle let me just hold tell you see show you what you what happens if you don't hold the shift key it's a very uh oblong object uh oval i want a perfect circle so if you want a perfect circle make sure you have the circle highlighted make sure it's full and then click and hold the shift key on your keyboard and now you can do a perfect circle look at that so nice that is all right i'm going to then move it more to the middle i believe the middle could be here and then I'm going to finish this off. Like I said, um, if you are having problems with this, I understand. Um, my students, fifth graders, um, you see, spend some time with this sometimes, spend 30 minutes or more. And sometimes they need to come back and edit it and change it. Um, it's up to you. As long as you leave space, leave some space for your character to walk around here. Okay, I'm going to split this uh, tutorial into two parts. Just keep working on your maze. 
Um, make sure that you leave a lot of spaces. Don't overcrowd it. Just leave enough things. I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to catch you in the second part of this.